Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of emergency medicine is acute bleeding. The different outlines which we will discuss in our today's uh, topic will be first the primary hemostasis and in this we will talk about what are the different factors which are responsible for primary hemostasis and what is hemostasis. So we will talk about primary hemostasis, how the uh, uh, rupture or injury of the blood vessels cause activation of the uh, platelet and then cause formation of the platelet plug, which is the primary hemostasis. Next, we will talk about the secondary hemostasis and in this secondary hemostasis, uh, coagulation cascade plays an important role in which the thrombin causes the uh, conversion of fibrinogen uh, to the fibrin and these fibrins are the uh, fibers which help in the formation of the platelet plug. So that we will talk in the secondary hemostasis. Then also we will talk about some red flags. What are the warning signs uh, which we need to pay attention to that this uh, problem patient might will develop acute uh, bleeding and uh, usually patients with any uh, previous histories of uh, bleeding, patients who are taking some drugs that can cause acute bleeding, any um, uh, congenital abnormalities like hemophilia. So all these red flags, we will talk about them in detail. Then we will talk about some important questions we need to ask the patient in the history, whether they have this uh, problem before, what were the circumstances in which the bleeding occur, whether they are taking some medications that might be associated with the uh, acute bleeding. So history is important and we will discuss the important uh, points of history in detail. Then we will talk about the physical examination, finding of uh, uh, acute bleeding on the physical examination, like any neurological findings, uh, vital signs of the patient with acute bleeding, then skin uh, uh, findings like purpura, petechiae, rash, uh, uh, melina, or any occurred blood, so all that we will discuss in detail. Then differential diagnosis of acute bleeding, very important like conditions like uh, uh, th uh, thrombotic, thrombocytopenic purpura, idiopathic, thrombocytopenic purpura. Then we will talk about uh, medications uh, induced thrombocytopenia, uh, hemolytic uremic syndrome, disseminated intravascular coagulations, all these differential diagnoses, we will talk about them. Then different diagnostic tests that can be done in like complete blood count and then uh, any uh, uh, factors, uh, plasma uh, factors, we sh we'll talk, uh, test for them. Then how we can do the test for uh, uh, hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is maybe very common in a pediatric age group caused by E. coli infection. So all these different diagnoses diagnostic tests, um, very important the uh, test like the complete blood count and to look for the any uh, clotting factors. 
Then treatment principles, we will talk about separately the treatment principles for the uh, primary hemostasis and then the treatment options for the secondary hemostasis and we will talk about them in detail, especially different differential diagnosis and how we can manage conditions like uh, drug-induced, heparin-induced and then we will talk about the INR uh, levels and how we can control the warfarin and how the INR levels will affect the warfarin dosages. So all that we will talk in detail about uh, in our today's lecture of acute bleeding. And besides this, we have other uh, lectures of emergency medicine available, available on the website of scardia.com. So you can access those lectures by visiting the uh, website. Thanks for watching scardia.com.